Right now, it's minus 15. Oh. Ready? Let's go, sir. Here you go. Come on. in our cozy clothes because today our plan is just to relax in the cabin. We're Jake and Tatina. We're a married couple with two dogs living in Vancouver, Canada, and we love to explore the world. We have big travel plans this year, so subscribe down below so you can come along on our adventures. Right now, since we can't really travel internationally, continues to advise against non-essential travel. We're checking out places close to home and showing you some of the best places to visit and the best things to do in the Vancouver area. Last night, we checked into a cozy, snowy cabin in the woods in Pemberton, BC. There's our cabin. There it is That's right the there. house of the host. Pemberton is a small village, just a 30 minute drive north of Whistler. And whether you wanna actually commute to Whistler from Pemberton, or whether you wanna stay in Pemberton, it's a pretty affordable alternative to the Whistler large ski resort. Pemberton offers lots of winter activities to do, like backcountry skiing, snowboarding, snowmobiling, hiking, and we even tried out snow shooting for the first time here, so stay tuned to see that attempt. In this video though, we're going to be touring our little cozy cabin we're staying in while we visit Pemberton, which brings us to this moment here. So Jake and I have always wanted to go to a beautiful cozy cabin in the middle of winter. We're gonna show you around the inside of the cabin, starting with the living area. We've got an amazing comfy couch over here, perfect for two people, a nice wooden coffee table. They left some magazines here. We've got lots of coat racks and there's beautiful decor up here. There's some snowshoes that they've hung up and they've got a nice little table here. Of course, what cabin isn't complete without a fireplace? Even though it's not a real wooden fireplace, it's still nice and it puts out heat. And it really is strong enough to heat up this entire place. So we've got some killer sound system speakers over here and we'll go and take you into the kitchen. This is our beautiful kitchen. The hosts of this Airbnb have lived in Pemberton for 30 years and the dad and his two sons actually built this cabin from scratch and you can see the beautiful rap. The beautiful raptors. Oh my god, I can't say raptor! I can't say raptors! There are no dinosaurs in this cabin. And you can see the beautiful rafters up above. All the countertops in this kitchen are wood. We've got a double sink so you can do your dishes and really all of the amenities that you could ask for in any kind of hotel room. A nice fridge, a coffee pot, kettle, microwave. They provided us with all of our dishware. Their oven isn't working, but they do have a little toaster oven up here that you can use instead. They give you all of your spices and we've even got olive oil here. The view from every room in this house is incredible. You just see trees and snow. Jake's gonna show you the bathroom and the bedroom. Okay, let's check out the bathroom. The bathroom is actually really roomy. There's a nice stand-up shower. Inside, it's really modern. Toilet, towel hanger, a beautiful vanity, and really nice flooring. In the medicine cabinet, they provide shampoo, conditioner, body wash. The hospitality is really nice here. We're gonna head over to the bedroom now. It's a nice, cozy little bedroom. Oh, there's a thermostat in here. That's set to 10 degrees. Oh my God, just You were so up. cold last night. So basically we're just dumb. In the bedroom, we have a nice, comfortable queen size bed. We slept really well last night, except for the cold, <laughs> which we have figured out now. Extra bedding. It looks like there's an air conditioner unit in here for those summer months. And extra, extra bedding. Two lamps beside the bed with outlets so you can charge your devices. And of course, the view from right here, you can see nice blanket of snow. The cabin's not huge, but that's not what we were really looking for. That's what she said. That's what she said. We were looking for a quaint little cozy place. We could just enjoy the weather and the woods and have a little retreat for ourselves. We're planning on doing a hike to Joffrey Lake tomorrow and we had absolutely no winter gear. I know that's crazy to say as yeah. Vancouverites, but we basically just had rain jackets and that's it. So we ran to Sport Check and we got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh. We have his and hers Solomon gloves. Snow pants, base layers nice. for under the snow pants. A toque for Jake. And Tatina's new snow jacket. So we're gonna bundle up right now, go for a little walk, test out our snow gear. We're gonna go for a little walk around the block. Walk around the block. We found a nice little trail right beside the cabin, which is amazing. We walked onto the road and then to the right. 
The views are so nice. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It is. We came up to Pemberton solely because we wanted to stay in a nice winter cabin with snow. The funny thing is, today at our house, it actually snowed at 20 centimeters. Oh, yeah. What are the odds? This is my official test to see how deep the snow is. It's very, it's very official, okay? So watch carefully how he does this. Hopefully I don't break, uh, break my leg. All oh, right, no. how deep is it? A half calf. Right a there? Calf. That's how deep it is. Okay, that's not that bad actually, hey? He's been wanting to jump in the snow oh, since we've God. gotten here. Just got a text from the host of our cabin and they let us know that we can go and see their chickens. So we're gonna head to their little barns. They said, be careful of the guard dog, Samson. So when we got here, we met Samson. Super adorable. What kind of dog is he? He's a Marema mountain dog, I think. Mountain dog. Super, super sweet. But apparently we need to watch out for him. He's very protective of the chickens. Okay, we're gonna head back to the cabin now. We just wanted to go get outside a little bit and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful day. It is winter, so it is getting dark already at 3.30 p.m. So we're gonna head on inside and just relax. Right, babe? Yeah, but we're gonna go see the chicken. Oh, that's <gasps> right, I'm sorry. We're gonna see the chickens first. Here, ready? Ready? Let's go. Set. Here you go. Come on. Hey. Let's go. <laughs> 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 I'm so excited about the chickens. <laughs> Come on. Where's the so, cabin? So right there. There it is. There's our cabin. Even though there's a whole house right behind it, it feels so private because there are no windows on the back. It just faces out front here. And it's dead silent. I can't explain it. Wait, wait. Do you hear that? No, I don't. Nothing. <laughs> Wanna see the chickens. Here's the coop. Oh, you can hear them. Wow, there's a lot of them. Hello, my friends. Looks like they also have ducks. We love chickens. If we could have a big backyard in the future and just have chickens, oh, that would, that's a dream. So Samson didn't come. Samson didn't come. For dinner tonight, we're having a roasted cauliflower pasta. Dinner was pretty good. It was really simple. Also, I kind of cut my finger while making dinner. I slipped the knife off of the, the garlic and right into my left index finger. Tatina ran out to the truck to get some band-aids. We have some in our emergency kit. Mm. We're gonna watch Spider-Man 2, have some dessert, and just wind down. <sighs> and that's it. Well, we wanna say thank you to all of you who subscribe, who like our videos. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Get out there, go explore, and be a good human.